Welcome back to Hedge Apple Acres. In this video we're going to give some updates and talk about something I'm looking forward to and I think you will too. Hope you stay tuned. For today's updates we'll start with Roxy. Roxy is one of my livestock guardian dogs and if you saw in the last video she has discovered we have neighbors and she's gone over there. Twice, Monday and Tuesday, I pinned her up and then I got a text mid-morning while I was at work that she was over at the neighbor's. So sadly, I tied her up today and left her tied up. I'm getting ready to turn her loose and let her have the evening and night free because she doesn't go over there. There then she stays here and barks all night. And then tomorrow morning I'm going to tie her up. I'm going to do that for a few days and see if that helps. I have messed with the fence to try and, and keep her from going out. She's going over in some places now. She's really intent on going over there. So if you have any suggestions, please put them below because I'm not sure what else to do. For the rabbits, uh, we'll look at Lucille and her baby. Lucille's babies are doing good. Edna is due to Kindle on Monday, so eagerly looking forward to that. They are nice and warm in their nest. I have not got them out. I'm just, we had rabbits when I was a kid, and I've had rabbits off and on, but I'm not, I've never been very successful at rabbits, so I'm trying to be really careful. So I haven't got them out to take a count or anything. But they're looking good, they're growing. So I'm excited for that. Of course, Lucille's coming over to see what's going on. A couple videos ago, we talked about Quaternix quail. I'd contacted the local game warden. In Oklahoma, you don't have to have a license or permit from the wildlife department to have Quaternix quail. You do for other types of quail, but not Quaternix. I ordered a dozen Celadon quail eggs from Sadie Girl. I'll put the link. And I ordered 50 Jumbo Wild or Jumbo Pharaohs from my Shire Farms. I'll put the link up there too. I will, I've got them in the house and they're setting. I will put them in the incubator either late this evening or early in the morning. I want them want to give the eggs time to settle down. Well, that's our midweek update, but we've got something I'm looking forward to, and I think you will too. The thing I'm looking forward to is the Self Reliant Road Show. I'll put the link up there. It kicks off in April. Prepstetter Bob and his family's taken off in the bus and traveling across the United States and Canada, visiting homesteaders, preppers, DIYers, to help and learn more. I encourage you to tune in for the road show. Also, if you go ahead and go visit Prepstetter Bob's channel, they've got um, videos of the modifications they're making to an old school bus to get ready to go. April will be here before you know it. As always, thank you for watching. We encourage you to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We'll be seeing you more.